Alright, today we're going to be removing the Rogue Live Security Suite. Now, if you're infected by this, you're going to notice three major problems hindering removal. Number one, you're going to see that Task Manager really does not work. Number two, you're going to notice that in Internet Explorer, um, a lot of sites are blocked, including uh, Malwarebytes and Bleeping Computer. And number three, uh, your computer might restart randomly. So the first step is going to be to open up your browser and download Process Explorer. You need to kill this live security suite process because it's really giving us a hard time. So just follow the uh, link in the description or go to live.sysinternals. I also recommend turning off your speakers because that noise is really annoying. live.sysinternals.com scroll down to uh, procexp.exe go ahead and run it go ahead and accept the license agreement and you're going to want to scroll down to this process live ss going to go ahead and want to right click and kill process tree. You might also want to kill this, um, all right, you're going to notice some other processes under explorer.exe. You want to kill this ATO NAND. It might look different, but go ahead and kill it. And you're also going to want to kill this win login. Now, there are two different win login processes that are going to be running. One is going to be up here, running from C Windows System32 WinLogin.exe. This one is running from Documents and Settings, Administrator, App Data, Microsoft Windows WinLogin. This one is a hoax. Fake. Kill it. Alright, now that that's taken care of, we can go ahead and download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Go ahead and run the setup file after you have downloaded it and go through the setup. Make sure update and launch are checked and click finish. Malwarebytes will go ahead and update itself and previous users of Malwarebytes will want to go to the update tab and check for updates, just to make sure they're on the latest database version. Now go back to the scanner, make sure you're on quick scan, and click scan. This is going to take about 5 to 15 minutes, so take a break. Okay, so my scan is just completed, and it took under 4 minutes, so go ahead and click OK, and show results. And you're going to see all the files that Malwarebytes has found, there's a lot of interesting things, a lot of DLLs, and there is a a driver that's infected, pb.sys, so definitely remove selected. It'll quarantine all of them. This log will pop up, you can dismiss it. Go ahead and click yes to restart. Alright, and your machine should now be clean. Um, be sure to keep Windows up to date, keep your antivirus up to date, and thank you for watching.